Hi, everybody. We're hey. Just gonna, we're just going to go ahead and get started here. I mean, yeah, let's rock and roll. Uh, this is the Chaos Common Metric Meeting. I know Elizabeth is out today, and I know that um, others can't join as well. So it's going to be kind of a smaller group. And if you could add your name, that would be great. Local artists. It's, the question today is if you own any artwork. So. Yeah, I'd say that like five years ago, I did not own anything I would call artwork, but Kid? I did not, but now I do. Kid artwork. <laughs> What's going on, Gary? Hey, oh. Hey, we have a lighter group because a couple of people, Elizabeth's doing an art show. Some people got drawn into meetings. So she has a four day art show in Cincinnati. So you may have heard about wow. that. Wow. Yeah, I know. Uh, I do. So, Gary, today's question is if you own any artwork. Ooh, let me open up the doc. I do is a good uh, response. I do. I do own artwork. Yes. One of the people and my kids. If that counts as well. Does anybody have any framed kid artwork? I don't. Your I don't. Own, your own framed kid artwork. <laughs> you know, I have a piece of artwork from when my sibling was a teenager yeah. that they made for me. Does that count as kid artwork? Heck yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Vinod? No. All right. Here are the minutes, Vinod. All right. So I think a couple things that I want to kind of talk about today is. Um, in common, there are two things. One is in the metric model meeting, we talked about spending a little bit of time to review metric models to ensure that they are um, as concise as they can be, mostly from a metric perspective. So just ensuring that a metric model, you know, doesn't have... 10 metrics all very difficult to gather kind of thing because the idea is that they are quite implementable so that's the second issue here um, we also have kind of this list that i'd like to review from app ecosystem so this is another group that has been slowly working over time to develop metrics that are useful in the application ecosystem space hi yiga could somebody put the minutes in the chat for yiga sure thanks and so I'm, I'm just going to start here. You know, I think this this group is kind of focused. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, Yiga. Um, this group, the common working group, is kind of focused on, on building the particular assets that we need in chaos. So just, I think our, our focus needs to be on actually like constructing the metrics and kind of auditing the metrics models, so to speak. So we, you can see this is a, a long list. Here, let me make it a little smaller here. This is a pretty long list of potential metrics from the app ecosystem working group. <laughs> Only like, oh, I don't know, 40 metrics that they're asking to be developed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they are all in the low priority. And they're all low priority, which <laughs> they shouldn't do that to us because that usually means <laughs> we'll worry about that next week or in two weeks. Um, yeah, Mary Blessing. Yeah, we do not have any priority for any of these metrics. So we're hoping that the chaos, um, the chaos common working group could just help us <laughs> push. And anyone really that um, makes sense for, for the group to like, um, no, no priority. Yeah. So, um, so you're kind of Mary Blessing, you're speaking on like as the liaison for the app ecosystem. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Um, okay. So we just lost Gary. Goodbye, Gary. Um, he'll be back. <laughs> Um, so what are people's thoughts on maybe the the best way to kind of 
workflow our way through this. We have a lot, and this is what Common is supposed to do. I this think... <clears throat> My suggestion will be like, do we have any other metrics that are priority from other working groups? Because these are low priority. I, I first looked at the table. Okay, what is the priority that needs to be focused first? If there is any metric which is on the priority from the models or from other groups, we should prioritize that first and then we can start coming to this one, one by one. Mm, that would be a pretty hard map to make, don't you think? That we'd go like to the other working groups and have them look at this. Uh, I'm not saying other working groups. Like if other working groups have their own metrics that they want us to develop as a priority metric, I see. We should focus that one first, and then we one by one. Like if they've given this list, we can just pick first one and we develop it, and then we go to the next one. Is the best option. Yeah, I haven't seen anything from other working groups and kind of looking through this list. We do have this from Open Science, so we do have another one here. And then backlog. Uh, I uh, I remember the backlog was final because I missed a couple of common meetings, so I don't know whether it has been released or not. I was not, not sure. But... Okay, we'll take a look at those here shortly. Okay. Um, you know, I mean, how many do we have? Does anybody do a count? A lot. I mean, there's probably 45 here. Uh, um, <laughs> do you ever look at something and you're like, there's just so much here? Yeah, like, that's exactly the experience I'm having right now. Because <laughs> like if we did mm. if we did two two every two weeks, this would take us <laughs> two, a two, year or more, two, two years. years to get through. So <laughs> you know, and I don't know that we could really go much faster than two per two weeks. Yeah, Mary Blessing. Okay, so I, I'm not sure how reviewing works um, in the common metric uh, working group. So what just came to mind is maybe we could add a filter and maybe um, assign the um, five to each of the mem each members of the common working group, right? And um, at their spare time, they can take a look and maybe give a, um, a remark or something. Uh, then if, when we meet again, um, Everybody can now collectively look over okay what this person has done individually and come to a final decision. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, so you're kind of like suggesting. I think it would be like suggesting a column to the right here. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah. I can spell. Mm -hmm. that something like i don't know if can you see my screen my blessing yeah so i can yeah okay. so you could say the first five is for math for, for instance and um you know at, at the math this time he can just you know take a look and everybody does the same thing and when we get to like meet again we just you know collectively as a group look over what everyone else has done So, okay, I like that. Um, it looks like a few of these already have a discussion around them. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. Um, we, you know, we, we, uh, we talked about if there were like existing metrics in chaos that already like set out um, the purpose for which the metric we are suggesting um, was going to serve. And we, take, we took a look and some do, but um, some of them does not specifically meet the goal we were looking at. So we just left some comments and we're hoping the common um, metrics working group to also take a look. Okay, so that's yeah. so these comments are from the app ecosystem, is that correct? Um yeah. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So does the does the app ecosystem feel that, like for example, see this row right here? So the time since first contribution for a tent attend uh, event attendees. The, do they feel that this metric doesn't quite cover that? Exactly. So that's what we have for them. That's what I want. Okay. That's common. Yeah. Okay. So this, like this metric here, is not completely appropriate for this. For this. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's a like a kind of a a guide. Okay, so in that case, I mean, we have. Uh, I I have a one more question. Maybe ask for the app ecosystem because it, I just look at the first two questions. Like they are the very same questions, the repeated questions. Uh, see, even with the third one. So are the questions same for every metric? I'm not sure. I I feel like there's an issue with this list. Even if you go at the very uh, top. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, even. these three are the same. So are yeah, these one metric? Know. Like you know, as a as a outsider, I have to work on this. So maybe I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, Mary Blessing, did you have a comment on that? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, yeah, sure. Um, yes, we also noticed that, and um, what we decided is that. Um, if the common working group being any any metric fits to like you know mesh them together, that's like totally fine with us as well. So so yeah, absolutely. What we that said is right. Some of them you know seem so but they're very very similar. So um, if we can mesh them, that is totally okay with us. Okay, so like to your point, Vinod, that might actually thank thanks for catching that, Vinod, because this might allow us to like for example if i was to merge these like the yes sean and so i'm gonna can i can you can I, yeah you can edit i can edit somebody can edit it. and then accept that because that yep how did these get covered Oh, that's probably the comment, but they should be gone now. Okay. I think I might have I might have still been highlighting them. Sorry. Gotcha. So then the purpose, like I think to your point, Vinata <laughs> and Sean, I think you both identified the same thing. Like a new metric could kind of cover all three of these. Is that what you were saying too, Sean? Like one metric yeah. potentially. I don't well, I'm I'm actually suggesting that some of these may actually just add uh, event data to existing metrics as a parameter, because I we see. we know con you know we have to triangulate the identity of people who can tr come to an event with their I identity see. of contribution. Um, it seems like a new data source that would let you parameterize existing metrics differently. Let's take a and look. I am, yeah, that's fair. Um... Because they had the app ecosystem had kind of made this connection, the conversion rate yeah. metric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the conversion rate metric is primarily aimed at identifying how new community members become more sustained contributors over time. However, conversion rate can also help understanding the change, understand the changing roles. Okay. And so we do have so you were suggesting like a filter mm. here yeah and actually now that i'm okay now that it, there's so much here now that i'm reading it they have a link in these top four metrics to the conversion rate metric yes. i think they might actually be saying what i'm saying which is take the conversion rate metric and incorporate these parameters into it as as so that so that i can look at these these titles or these which are really questions i think <clears throat> Vinod, did you have a comment? So I was saying it's like uh, either we uh, revise this uh, or incorporate these three things in the metric conversion rate, or we develop one out of this and see if it is something. So maybe somebody has to take all three and make a cross comparison of these two and 
come up with something is the proposed solution. I see. So like if we were to look at, let's try the filter approach first. Mm -hmm. If we were to take a look at the length of time of attendees membership. Okay, so length of time of attendees membership. Oh. Listen, I can right now. To me, it's like when they joined till now, which is like five years, four years, three like years. Like how long have they been around? Yeah, around like, for example, if I look at myself, I've been around with Kiosk for since inception. Yeah. It's like, well, whatever, somebody has joined, maybe Mary Blessing has joined two, uh, for two years or three years, so length of time in that terms. Okay. And so then time time since first contribution for event attendees so is this like i like if you go to chaos con yes in brussels what was the date of your first contribution to oh, the like. okay Mary Blessing is giving a thumbs up. Thank you, Mary Blessing, for <laughs> confirming how we're trying to read these. Time since ev so. time since event to the last contribution. Wait, so is this one like, is this about if you attend an event, how long it takes for an event attendee to make a contribution? The first contribution and this is like latest contribution. So if after even you made first contribution after a week, and then it has been now three months, you made a last contribution in the third month. So it's like a span. I so think there's more of a filters that we can add it to a particular metric or so where okay, so. So if we were to, we have the. So I can think of a solution in terms of filters. Filter will be, because we are looking at the conversion ratio in this metric, which is like conversion rate. How frequently or how quickly a member is converted or uh, new contributions become more sustained contribution. So yep. if an event, Assuming KiosCon occurred, after KiosCon, how many times they have contributed that will help us to become a more sustained, like first contribution and the frequent contribution after an event to help me gauge in, uh, uh, their sustainability with the project. So, okay. So time since first contribution, or event attendees. Is this a, how do you understand this one, Banad? So it's like, okay, assuming KiosCon is on January, mm -hmm. in February, attendee made the first contribution. In March, it made the second contribution. In April, it made a third contribution. So the first contribution was in February and in April, the last contribution was, and we are in the June, assuming. I'm just talking as a time frame to help you understand. So, so with since, this... since January to April, they made regular contributions. So after the event till four months, they were the regular contributors. So should this say time until? Time until now, time until certain point in time. But not time since. So they are uh, they are making a benchmark as a chaos con as a benchmark afterwards yep. contribution. So it would be time after the event. After event until first day or until a certain point in time. That because that's the time. That's how you understand it. Like do you see what I wrote? Yes. Okay. Is that Mary Blessing? Is that correct? How to understand this? You're muted if you're talking. Okay. And then time. So 
So how do you understand this one then as different Vinod? So they are measuring two things. First contribution, like after they even quickly, how quickly they made the first contribution and then how frequently they are doing till the last time. So the first will, first will tell you, okay, after one month, they made the contribution. After two days, they made the contribution, which will tell you the speed of engagement. I see. And oh. the last one is like, okay, now are they sustained contributor or not? So Over I guess what, okay, I, I understand what you're saying. So this concept of retrospective metric, I think throws me off a little bit there. Mary yeah. Blessing, are you back? I see you dropped off. Yeah, hi, Matt. Hey. Yes, sorry about that, it's network. No, no problem. Do you see my screen? Yeah, sure, I can. Okay, Do you see, did we get this? So we've rewritten this a little bit for our own clarity. Is this, is 1.1.2, is this really about time after the event of somebody's first contribution? Sorry, I didn't get that, math. I'm so sorry. Sure, no, it's no problem. So is the, the one that I have highlighted here, is this really about, like if we have chaos con on February 1st, then chaos con becomes the time, the start time, and then the amount of time until an event attendee makes a contribution. Is that what this is? Oh. Okay. I love it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So if there's chaos, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay, because we just rewrote it a little bit. And so then yes. the second one is time time after the event, not since, to the last contribution. So like if, if you attended Mary Blessing, if you were new to the chaos community and you attended ChaosCon for the first time, the first metric measures how long it was after you attended the event until you make your first contribution. And the second one is about how long you stuck around really until you made your last contribution. And then we never saw you again. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so given that Vinod, does that make sense to you, Vinod? Yes. And to me, this seems a filter of the already existing metric, conversion rate. So wait, how would you? So, so it will be, uh, I'll filter uh, even to date or even to the first contribution to gauge the conversion. So After the event, how many people were converted within one week? How many people were converted within three weeks? And how many are more sustainable? up to now, after the event. Okay. So basically you would have an event date and then right. you would use a tool like Augur or Grimoire Lab to just identify first time contributors. After an event. Yeah, after the event. And then basically just seeing how many of them stuck around for a right. year or something like that. Yes. So Vinod, could you do me a favor? Sure. <laughs> And could you could you take? Are you in front of a computer right now? Yes. Could you maybe propose that in the filter here? Yes, I'll I'll do the filter based on this conversation. And so should uh, now the question is: Should I create a PR as a filter, or should I just create a discussion around this particular metric, which is conversion, uh, which they are referring? And why don't you, why don't you create the PR and tag Georg? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Sean. Let's take a look at that right now. So Vinod's gonna issue a PR to try to improve this, oops, to try to improve conversion rate. For these four metrics that are at the top here. 
Yeah, at least three. This one actually, I think I think the fourth one's actually part of that same group. Statistical test. Look below to the next page for comparing two groups. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Which one? Uh, given a person. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Okay. What is it? What is it, Sean? We didn't look at that. I one. think it's. Oh. I think it. Yeah, I think it's just it's the taking same the, thing. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay. like they are proposing a test. So which will be more of an implementation? The first one I propose is a filter. And do we have an implementation section on the? We we don't have it anymore in the formatting. We have we, data collection. Uh, yeah, in the filter and maybe it's like how to calculate that particular filter through a t-test or something. I mean, we kind of have it here. We say event participants. Yes. We don't really, I don't think that in any of our data collection strategies, we get down to the level of saying somebody run a t-test. Right. <laughs> so I would be okay with that. So maybe Vinod, you could just do the PR on the filters and maybe the only other place I would suggest looking is like maybe in the objectives here to see okay. if those objectives okay. match with kind of what we've talked about here. Yeah. And I think that'd be about it. Yes. And then could you do the PR tag Georg and then just add a link to the PR here in the spreadsheet? Okay, I'll do that. Okay, that'd be super helpful. Um, so then Sean, you made a comment as well in the chat. Do you want to? Yeah, I did two, two things. One is, um, I put, I just went down through the rest of them and I put in just hashtag in the last column okay. for things that I think are kind of in the same bucket of ideas. So like the first one is at event contribution. There's like four in a row that are about people who contributed to the project at the event, um, I guess the fourth one is a little bit about did they contribute before the event or not, but they're still looking for, it's still around the same theme, I think. Then there's a couple related to sentiment analysis and emojis that I called emotion. Uh, three that I wasn't sure what to do with. And then there's a bunch that are related to social platforms, a survey and promotion engagement. Um, so I didn't get everything, but I think a lot of the things fit into buckets, if you will. Yep. And so then the hope would be is that we could either create a unified metric around those buckets or right. add these as filters to existing metrics. Again, just the buckets. Yeah. Because okay. I think like when I hashtagged him, I was thinking about data. And if the data is, if it, if the thing is basically going to use the same data shaped a little bit differently, I gave it the same hashtag. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, so, so it either fits in an existing okay. metric or it fits in one one new metric instead of like four. Okay, I got you. So then let me update this. This would be ways to look at these or this collectively. Yeah, or in sets or whatever. Yeah. as either a new metric or parameters on an existing metric or filters. I can't remember which word we kept. <laughs> filters. <laughs> okay. 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 That's, thank you for doing that. Okay. So no exciting. Ex existing. Yeah. Filter on exciting metrics is good. Yeah, I was, yeah, was auto-correcting me to exciting. I was tempted. <laughs> Let it ride. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So why don't, so this will make the, I think this will just kind of following what you have done here, Sean. Yeah, which is basically just a carrying forward what you and Vinod were doing. Yes, exactly. And, but I think this will make and Mary Blessing the task a lot easier because then we're not looking at 45 new metrics. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what I, yeah. I well, when you couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah. When you pointed out the similarity of the first four, I, I just kind of started scanning down and I'm like, I think this might be a pattern of just things that are yeah. bigger chunks. Okay. And it is. 
Okay. So then maybe to Mary Blessing's point, we could, I'm going to add. Okay. And then, so you have how many in event contrib like are these like contributions at an event? Yeah, at event contribution, like the first three are very clearly that. Um, so they have like a hackathon or something at the event. Yeah, yeah. The fourth one is a, it's like people who contributed to the project before the event, but they're attendees. I don't know. It feels like it's in the same bucket, even though it's a slightly different twist. Okay. It's basically because you're going to get the GitHub IDs or GitLab IDs and the registrants. And you're just going to see if which of them contributed before the event. I got you. And then the, the other side of the question is which of them didn't and continue to after, which I don't know, it feels like all the same data to me. Okay, I'll take a look at these. Um. I'm guessing. I actually think this is going to be a new metric. Just yeah, to, some of the some of these will be. Yeah, I don't think we have anything about in within event. Thing. I don't think so either. Yeah, I think in that case, yes, you're right. Okay. So this new metric, I don't know what would you call this, like in event activity. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I think so. I think I think collectively they're trying to get at the level of engagement with the actual software that comes out of an event. I think so too. Okay. Um, how about this country? Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so what I could do, honestly, I think from what they provide here, like it'd be pretty easy to take the template that we have and just and write, a, write up a metric. Yeah, I agree. And just kind of cut and paste what they already provided. Mm -hmm. And then at least just kick it back to app ecosystem. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Here, Really yeah. rough draft. You all sort this out as you see fit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't we just do that one for next time so that we don't kind of over Go all over the map? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. We'll just kind of do. We did one today, so mm -hmm. that's good. Um, Vinod is wrapping that up. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm trying to frame it and match it with the narrative of the. Uh, metric itself so that i don't gotcha. deviate much yeah know? yeah oh no, that's that's cool thank you for doing that yeah. um and, and then i'll come back with a new metric it's actually we're not going to meet again for a month just because oh two weeks two weeks is thanksgiving yeah yeah two weeks is we're on break yeah i'll be gaining yeah. 10 pounds yeah <laughs> you got you get and mary blessing do you know that we're not meeting in two weeks that whole week um no, <laughs> you do not. The United, the United, yeah, the United States basically shuts down during Thanksgiving week. Uh, hmm. All right. Yeah, so we'll have no meetings in two weeks. All right. Uh, um, I mean, that's fine. You can let me know um, feedback to keep yeah. 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 I will. Actually, I mean, maybe it's worth. I could probably do this sooner than later and you could just share it with the app ecosystem group. So I think Mary Blessing is the kind of serving as this, the liaison once Vinod gets the PR done. Mm -hmm. And then once I kind of get this framed out as a new metric, that's something that you could bring back to the app ecosystem group and get their feedback. All right. Cool. Thank you for bringing these forward, Mary Blessing. Yeah, sure. Okay, um, the 
Vinod's working a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I did, so I, if you could kind of give your maybe like initial reactions to some of these, I'm just going to start in the upper left corner and kind of work my way down. And I think these will go relatively quickly, but so we have a metric model, which is called safety. And yeah. Is that psychological safety or is it broader than that? It's, it's just broader called, than that. It's just called safety. Okay. So I think this one is a little bit out of template form. Do you see that? Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. So I think we I, have... like these are this is one of the very first ones we've built. It was. Yes, correct. So yeah. Um, would anybody be interested in trying to take this and put it into proper template form? Um, take that metric model and put it into a template form? Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. It's a month. <laughs> you got, got a month got, to do it. You got a month to forget about it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So templatized safety metric yeah. model. And so, Sean, you can get from the knowledge base here. Mm -hmm. Right here, the knowledge base. Yeah. You can, yeah, I can... here are the templates. Uh, good. Metric, metric model, model temple template. Got it. So it's, it's pretty much there. I just, I think we didn't follow yeah. like the kind of this, you know. Yeah. List format here. Yep. Got it. Okay. All right. I'll take care of that. Thanks. Okay. Um, so that's that's a good first look on safety. Um, hold on. Okay, so this one is in the right format. This is all fine. Kind of give some stories about it. I think the major question that I that we need on here is is kind of this. So So this is really about collaboration. Mm -hmm. Trying to understand collaboration within a within a project and how well collaboration is going. So, so are you suggesting that the the metrics for that event collaboration would go here? No, um, what I'm suggesting is if if pretend we don't have any metrics in this model at the moment. Right. So we have this why it matters. So open source projects as as this kind of stuff. The ability to mm -hmm. establish a collaborative environment is key, and so on and so forth. Um, so this is quite a few metrics that we have in the model. Yep. And not all of them exist. Nope. And so the question would be like, how, like, Really, how about this? Um, one of the things we talked about in the metrics model meeting is kind of identifying what would be the primary set of metrics and then perhaps a secondary set of metrics that could be considered. Yeah. And so what if we, what do you think about everything that we have as a current described metric is the primary metric? Mm-hmm. And so the list would become something like if I was to take this and rearrange it. Um, so it would be like primary. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yes. And then I would do secondary. And we move. To 
because I think we don't want to get rid of all of these metrics because I think this one has been deployed. In yeah, it Oops. certainly has. Oops. I'm thanking Yahui too because it was uh, developed by those folks from the Chinese. Yep, exactly. So thanking both of them, Georg and Yahui Go. Thank you. So a proposal, we could just rearrange the metrics in the collaboration. So, yeah, go ahead. So basically metrics we have are primary. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Say, I mean, these are the ones that we can <laughs> do. So we're just going to prioritize these at the moment. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we've had a long discussion, but you know these are you know you know key or whatever whatever we call them and supplemental. Yeah, and in in the case of say Compass, they've gone ahead and deployed them all. Right, but we could also say, listen, you could also just kind of use the def, and they've deployed them all even kind of with their own, I think, local definitions. Yes, of what those are, we have just taken the time to to define all of these primary metrics. Does that yep. make sense? Yeah, that does. Okay, um, so I can do this. And I think the other goal here is to, it's kind of to reduce the number of metrics. So, and, and we're not really reducing the number, but we're reducing the number of metrics by, by um, kind of ordering them a bit. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. It does. Because I don't want to, I think if we proposed to just remove the metrics that we don't have defined, the folks at Compass would be like, that's not very cool that you did that. No. Because they've taken the time to define them and deploy them. Okay. Right. Okay. Um. All right, we did two. I think that's good for today. I do too. I think that's phenomenal. <laughs> so we have some action items on safety and some action items on collaboration development index. And Vinod, you were going to say something? I was saying like out of four, I merged them into one metric. So we have actually developed four metric of their list. So you've merged, yeah, these. <laughs> yes. And so you have you added the PR yet? Uh, I've created a PR. I have to add a PR in this list. Okay. So just, so just FYI, positive. my, I don't know, this uh, DCO check is failing because I've changed my ID from UNO to FGCO. So I don't know. I have to fix those things. But okay. Okay. the PR is there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is good. So I think we addressed two of the things in this list. One is I have an action item to put one of them into a new metric. Vinod completed a PR on one of them. And then we moved over to take a look at some of the metrics models. Sean has an action item to put safety into the more updated metric model template. Template, yep. And then I'm going to just rearrange the collaboration development index to just kind of order the metrics a little bit more um, so that they're a bit more accessible. Okay. Yeah. It's a pretty good like, day. Yeah, this is what Common is about to try to sort out yeah. these things. And I think it's well, great. Way through. Yeah. Grateful App Ecosystem presented us with this challenge. We, we're going to take this challenge on. It's like writing a paper. We're just going to do it, be yeah. done with it, and get it out of, get it off our yep. our desk. <laughs> yep, exactly. Uh, Mary Blessing, does this help you too with App Ecosystem? Yeah, sure. Super. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, 
I think we're good, everybody. All right. Thank and, you. Yeah, and um, I want to say I think this is our last cast meeting of the week. So enjoy, enjoy whatever it is you're doing between now and next week when I'll see y'all. All right. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye everyone.